we are rolling. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Hello, let me just do... Okay, that's fine. Welcome back. It's been a while since I talked through the video and today I have a special surprise for you guys, which is <laughs> my digital sketchbook tour. Um, I haven't even filmed my regular sketchbook tour and it's here waiting. It's uh, almost done. Not quite yet and I don't think I will ever finish it. So that's why we still haven't filmed this puppy. But maybe soon, maybe maybe I'll just say it's done and film my regular sketchbook tour and move on to the next one. But for now, I want to show you what I've been doing um, on my iPad, which I got exactly one month ago. So this was my first um, interaction with the digital illustration. So... Um, you're gonna see <laughs> what I did uh, at that time, uh, what I learned and uh, how I started and what happened in a one month period regarding my art. So this is a Procreate app and today I'm gonna be focusing only on Procreate. I have been doing some work in Affinity Designer, but I'm still kind of learning that app and um, I don't have much work on it, so it would be a really, really short video. And I started to post these little short tips for Procreate and Affinity Designer. When I learn something, I wanna share it, so you guys know it too. And let me know if you like that also, so I know, do I continue or are you guys fine without it? So let's start, because we have quite a few uh, few artworks here. <laughs> I have this, um, like I made everything into stacks because it was really a lot and it was really, really messy. And I tried to group things together that are similar by theme or by uh, motive or anything. And I don't think I was successful for the most of it, but some, some artwork belongs with each other. They're like part of the series uh, or something like that. So what I'm gonna show you, there are a couple of things that I'm not gonna show you because I painted uh, my friends, kids and stuff like that and I don't really want to put that in a video but so we're just gonna basically skip through this first stack but you're not missing much so let's let me just start with this one. Uh, and this is kind of a plant area, a uh, plant area, which is, let me just turn off uh, the internet while I film so we don't get this all annoying pop-ups and notifications. This was one of the first uh, things I did when I got uh, Procreate. I basically just took a picture of uh, these flowers, let me just try and show you guys so it was this little um, image that I find on Pinterest and I kind of copied it all over I can show you a little time-lapse because uh, Procreate uh, films everything you guys know that I haven't seen a single um, digital sketchbook tour video before I'm filming this one because I just kind of wanted to go unbiased and <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to show or tell here so I'm doing this completely on my own but I'm really excited to watch a couple of videos after I'm done just to see how other people did it. This is where I accidentally deleted the background completely so it's black and I haven't even noticed it until the very end, but I was still learning the app and I was still getting the hang of it, so I think it uh, turned out pretty nicely. It's like um, it's like a pencil and 
and maybe some watercolors in between and I really like it. It's really rough and sketchy, but I think it's interesting. And then I did something like this. This was a couple of days later and I really really love this one because it's so clean and I feel like it's, um, it's a black ink on paper and as you can see I did it in many different layers so I can just uh, change the details if I'm not sure I want to do them or not and I also have um, a reference image underneath so I just outlined the, the parts of it Okay, let's move on. So we're still in this stack and uh, I really like this one as well. And I actually wanted to, to add something in uh, this. Uh, let's do it together. So I just want to add like... Um, uh, like a watercolor paper underneath. I don't know why I'm not, not using the pencil. Okay. Uh, is it oh because uh, this is not good okay uh, I wanted to add a watercolor paper underneath so um, so it looks exactly like uh, like watercolor and this is supposed to be seamless paper why isn't it let me try and maybe I took a wrong file or something anyway okay I like that I use uh, fine liners and ink for these little uh, lines and then you have like a watercolor splashes and I still haven't found some brushes for the watercolors that I completely like and uh, know how to use digitally because nothing really looks exactly like it would in real life and uh, you know you guys know I love other colors in real life so it's really difficult for me to you know find something that's just just right <laughs> so I was just playing with that and I have a couple of other plants that maybe this is similar as the work I just showed you and I really like I think this is this brush is just a regular uh, gel pen or something like that and I really like the way it's just not even and uh, it, ha it has this rough uh, hand-drawn uh, kind of look and that's something I really really enjoy and uh, this was uh, when I was playing with different watercolor brushes so I can see how it looks on the paper and uh, stuff like that and this is the three illustrations. Uh, I think this one, this two, this one doesn't have. What what what's the difference? Why do I have two of them? Oh yeah, it's this little area that I changed uh, recently. So I made three plant illustrations, and I actually made this uh, as a digital uh, poster, so you can uh, buy on Etsy. If anybody is interested I put the link in uh, the description and I really like this because I feel like um, it's so simple but yet it has all these details that make it feel special and I really love plants like look at this one it's I don't know <laughs> I sometimes fell in love in my own work and uh, these three plants is just a little mini series that I really really love and you could see I have it on my uh, iPad background I have it on my computer screen and I really like uh, all three of them okay let's move on from the plants and move forward because we have a lot more to see <laughs> oh, okay these are my <laughs> this is when I first got the app and this is something uh, like practicing and th this was my first canvas ever as you can see I don't know if you're gonna recognize it I did like I think it was a free Skillshare uh, tutorial or class uh, and something like this was happening and I started the class and then I kind of 
started to do my own thing because I didn't want to follow it all the way through and I was uh, just trying out the pen brushes and I really loved the way it looks like real pen on paper and I kind of kept this little sketch because it was basically the first thing I did in the app so this is uh, <laughs> this is nothing I don't know why do I keep this uh, and here are a couple of uh, canvases that my mom did <laughs> this is uh, something she did on Easter I was showing her the app and she had fun uh, doing some little well scribbles I don't know doodles doodles little doodles and uh, uh, this came with the app of course there is no way I could make something like that and I think this was maybe officially my first <laughs> my first uh, artwork in the app not something I'm proud of but I really like to keep um, some stuff like that so I know how much uh, did I improve and how far I've come regarding my art and regarding uh, just learning the the all the things you can do and this is a little um, weekly schedule I made for myself and I printed out because every week I need to write everything down I forget everything so I made myself schedule and I always follow it so I have a little to-do list I have uh, everything I need to do on a certain days I usually put a little motivational quote in here and this is where I put the like if I need to see my friends or if I need to buy something order something I made a little tips here about that okay so I'm gonna skip the rest of it because um, it's uh, I don't know it's just gibberish okay so then we have a Easter card set and of course Michael Myers which for some reason belongs in the Easter stack <laughs> don't ask uh, so I got this iPad like two days before Easter I think it was exactly it was Friday before Easter Easter was in Sunday so exactly two days before and I <laughs> the first projects I did after this little couple of uh, artworks I did um, were Easter cards so <laughs> this is uh, I think this was the first one I made just two simple eggs uh, with a little shadow and a little shine and I wrote with my hand Happy Easter um, I used layers, I tried a couple of um, different um, writing uh, this is terrible and I just uh, kept this one and also for the eggs everything is in separate layers I was really uh, careful to separate everything so I can adjust it if needed and then I made uh, two more actually three more I made this one and I was kind of trying out copying and just flipping transforming I used this marble brush in the eggs recolored it a bit and this is a typography this is a font I didn't write it I don't write it this nicely ever ever and then I made this one which I really liked as well and the last one was this and this is my first figure I made I know it doesn't look like much and it's basically a bunch of shapes uh, together but I actually had this uh, sketch underneath that I made myself so this isn't uh, traced or anything so I was I was proud either way because remember this is two days into the app maybe even one because uh, I did it the day before Easter so this is basically I have the iPad and the app one day and this is <laughs> colorful Michael Myers um, you may not know this but I'm a big big horror fan and I actually have uh, paintings of 
Pennywise, of uh, Jason, of uh, Ash from Evil Dead. I made them all myself and they are hanging in my room. And the only, <laughs> not the only, but the most important part that is missing is my friend um, Michael Myers. So I kind of figured maybe I can do a digital illustration and made a poster because all the rest are just painted with acrylics on canvas. But we're gonna see. For now, I don't hate it, but I don't really love it as much. And um, I think it needs a little more work. I think these are all acrylic brushes uh, in painting. So I probably used uh, wet and uh, just the regular acrylic. And why is it in Easter? We still don't know. Here we have some uh, fun uh, comic portraits of my friends and family, I'm not gonna show you that. And here I have this uh, set of three posters I made. These are kind of um, nighttime mountain view with a little moon and I really really like all three of them. They're also on my Etsy store. And uh, this is just... I don't know, it's so special to me for some reason and as you can see I also did everything in a separate layer and I did all these uh, brushes and colors and I think I like this one the most, the purple one. And this one is really really fun. I love this color combination and I love the way this uh, paint splatters looks like stars on the sky and the moon is just there. And this one is just something a little more toned down if somebody just doesn't want much color in their space. And I also think they all look together really, really well. Like if you have all three posters by each other, it's a nice set. So this is a project I'm making, so I'm not gonna show you what's inside, it's still not like my client didn't see it, so I'm just keeping it, it's not finished. I made a couple of mandala um, shapes using the symmetry video, I made a similar thing for Affinity Designer as a short video, but in Affinity Designer you can make a completely vector illustration and shape, and this is just plain raster, so this is just one layer. And I made two of these, <coughs> I'm thinking of uh, putting them on my website so you can uh, maybe print it out and color it. And the next thing we have is this uh, Halloween pumpkin. Uh, I made this by watching a YouTube video. I cannot remember who it was, but I will link... Uh, video. I think I have it uh, saved somewhere, so I'll link it in my description if you want to see the original artist, because I basically copied the pumpkin uh, move to move. And uh, as you can see it's pretty cool because it has this like 3D effect of carvings. And I did use my own brushes and uh, not my own brushes, but the brushes I chose, not the same one that the original artist did. Okay, so now I have this uh, kind of a portrait, uh, pretty ladies kind of a stack. Well, here's my self-portrait, so it's gotta be pretty, you know. And this is my friend, and these are a couple in of uh, Pinterest ladies. And this is my favorite, this is uh, something I called Water Your Mind, which is have plants growing out of their head, uh, all these leaves and these flowers, and I think it's uh, super fun. I have a million of layers here, and I did some uh, photos of my book that I use in my art, and I put it in a background a little bit, some brushes, as you can see all of these flowers in, is in groups, all of these leaves, every single one of them is separated, has its own shadow, and uh, all together, I really really love this one, I'm, I'm obsessed, I think I'm gonna put it everywhere. <laughs> 
then we have this little self-portrait which is basically just a traced image of me uh, as you can tell and uh, I don't like it I think it looks way too fake so I didn't use it anywhere but I'm still keeping it and then I have uh, this uh, this lady really reminds me of like um, all these older type uh, hair salons here in Croatia they all had this like <laughs> exactly this lady on uh, on their commercials and on their glasses and I'm thinking uh, maybe I found the original model maybe not and I have a couple of posters I made like I really love this one it's kind of a pop art style or something like that comic style and I'm really really loving this one also on my Etsy store and uh, we'll see we'll see oh this is the pattern stack I was watching a YouTube video on how to make a seamless patterns in uh, Procreate so I was doing a couple of them and it's really fun and uh, this is kind of 70s uh, wallpaper inspired oh here are my birds <laughs> this is kind of a nature oh I love 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 these birds um, I think I made the blue one first I cannot remember for the life of me yeah maybe probably I think it turned out so good like I really love all these textures all these uh, leaves and uh, details and the background and it just feels so good I really love it and then after I finish this one actually I don't think I made the background I just made the bird and this little log uh, the bird was uh, standing on and then I made this pink one and I made full background full setting and everything around it and then I came back to do the blue one as well and I just love both of these illustrations I think I'm gonna do more maybe a couple more of birds and maybe some other insects or animals but uh, this is really and I found like a brush set that I like and a combination of brushes and colors that I want to use more often and I really like these effects it's so simple but it's so so cute like uh, the whole bird is uh, separated in layers as you can see everything is in a different layer every shade head everything so uh, it's so much fun and also the trees the backgrounds the leaves the shadows super fun and before I made these two birds I made this uh, plant climber climber <laughs> plant climber <coughs> which is a lady climbing my my room plant I think yes there is a image underneath I took this image this is literally something I took photo with my iPad of the plant in my room and uh, I traced the leaves I traced the stem and I took a photo is there a reference image I don't see it oh yeah it's here I took a reference image from Pinterest of the woman climbing the the rocks and I just placed it somewhere on my plant and I think it's so much fun it uh, I really love the shadows okay so we're done with that I do have three mother Mother's Day cards and uh, they also uh, you can download them and print it out and give gift it to your mother for Mother's Day which is in a Sunday this week I think I'm gonna leave the link down below for everything I think these are really really nice all three of them oh and then we have Wanda <laughs> my my queen my I just love her I love the show I never 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 loved Wanda I didn't even like her and she was um, somebody that I just uh, I love Marvel I love MCU 
but Wanda was not my favorite. And when I started to watch WandaVision, I just fell in love with her. She's just so, so much fun, so incredible, and she's my favorite right now. Until a new Spider-Man comes out, or maybe Thor. But uh, <laughs> for now, I'm really obsessed with her, and um, I decided to make a portrait. This is something I was doing uh, since, like, maybe the second day I had my iPad. I wanted to make her, and I did it for a couple of weeks, so it was a process. It, I didn't sit down and just draw her, and it was like, oh, here it is, here's Wanda. And I made a video on, uh, it's a time-lapse uh, from, uh, from here, from Procreate, and uh, I'm gonna leave the link right here, right here, the link is gonna be here, so you can check out the video if you want. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, take you through these layers. And okay, so this is the background, and it's nothing interesting. Like everything is separated, yada yada. But this is where it gets interesting because the entire body and everything she has on. Whoop! She's she was naked for a second. Everything is in a separate layer. Her legs. The background, the cape, uh, one arm, other arm, and I struggled the most with the hands, and I still don't think they look the best, but I overall I love it anyway, so this is the cape, I love the cape, like look at this, I think it looks so so good, and the other thing I really really love is uh, the headpiece, so all of the shadows, everything, separate layer but uh, like it looks like it's really shining it looks so so good I'm I'm just, I'm just loving it I know it's ridiculous but uh, let me just put up the reference image use the color picker and I was picking up the colors and painting them in so that's why I use this little images and uh, references but I think it turned out really really well her hair is gorgeous her face could be worked on but I I love it either way and that's about it Woo! she looks gorgeous even uh, bold <laughs> okay so now that I showed you Wanda we can move on but here it is my queen love her love her oh then i have this little fruit um stack and uh, if you need it i'm also gonna be linking it below and this is my sketch uh, stack where i just <laughs> use it as a um, sketching just black and white pencils this is my uh I did a Skillshare class on how to draw uh, robots in uh, Affinity Designer on iPad and the lady was making sketches in her Procreate app, so I did the same. And this is the sketch I was going for later and let me let me show you actually uh, the robot I did because I think it's <laughs> it turned out really really well. Look at it. That was the sketch. And this is the final project, product, final uh, art. And I can, you know, I can make a separate video on how I did things in Affinity Designer, but this is basically my first project I did in this app, so I'm really happy how it turned out. I'm really, really happy. Okay, and then uh, I did more sketches for these are just the heads and then I did this sketch oh, this sketch is uh, I was just bored and let me show you what I made out of this sketch yeah it's this I don't think it's finished yet uh, it needs some sort of a background and some sort of setting but <laughs> I think it was super fun it was like happy flower and you know grungy flower Then we have uh, 
doing some characters here and this is uh, a little dessert and sweet stacks that I'm using as a sketch uh, sketch reference for the other file I'm uh, working on. And then in this stack uh -huh, I have a couple of posters and I have this flower that I made with just like pencil brush. Then we go here and this is kind of my... Uh, I started something but I didn't finish it uh, stack. <laughs> I have this butterfly that I just did like two days ago I think and I really love him like I think it's so special so I don't know I want to do stuff with it like I want to put some flowers huge flowers in the background and something like that and maybe make a couple of friends for him so this is currently in this uh, stage where it's just waiting to <laughs> to have something happen and then here I was trying out this uh, like something I do on paper you have watercolor paper you have fine liners and watercolor and I don't think I was successful and uh, I didn't finish it and this is now just standing here and I don't think I'm gonna ever touch it again but I might try again on something different also this one, uh, this I'm not really too happy with the final result, but I do love the way the bricks look and I was doing everything, you know, by hand of course, and every single one was drawn in and it was kind of relaxing to do it. And yeah, you see uh, also separate layers for everything. I was trying something here, but I didn't like it. Either way. Okay. And this is the little flowers I made and the uh, leaves and nature. And this is all... Oh, of course. I used the gel pen uh, brush. I think. Let me just check. I have it in favorites no nope yeah I think this is the one yeah this is it and this is the gel pen is uh, so interesting to me because if you do it so lightly like it's really thick but if you push the pen in it's gonna get thinner so it's um, something opposite of most brushes most brushes if you push the pen in it's gonna get thicker but the gel pen is just the lighter you touch the thicker it is the more you push the thinner it is so it's really interesting to to learn how to use it and I am struggling a bit, but I think I'm getting a hang of it, because I really like the overall effect it gives. And then I did this, like, I started <laughs> to do like a rainy Sunday kind of mood board, but I didn't finish it. Then I made this house, and like, this should be going somewhere, and I should see the vision of what I want to achieve with this art but it stopped here and I have no idea what is going on so we're gonna see uh, if I finish it or I, if I just leave it like this and then I really want to do something with the uh, letters and you see my friends uh, flowers and then I have the stack of the ladies and this was one of my first sketches like the first day I got the Procreate app and then I think my next lady was this running lady. And then we have this uh, <laughs> really big hair girl. And I don't think I used any kind of reference for this body. I just kind of draw it in. 
and I really like her. Like I know she's nothing much, but she's so cute and she just has this little freckles and a little blushed um, cheeks and this cute, cute hair. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this was Zendaya and I played with masks here. I was also taking a picture of my book and putting it um, on top of the layers and used masks. This is just a sketch and this is something I'm currently working on so I'm not going to show you too much. And last but not least, we made it, is... Um, this uh, this is the city in Croatia, Rovin, and as you can see, it's really unfinished and uh, currently in progress. But I think it's gonna be really really nice when I eventually do finish it. Okay, so this is it. This is uh, my digital sketchbook tour, which is um, it was pretty interesting to show you everything I'm working on and was working on and how I came from from this. And then eventually did, uh, I don't know, Wanda and um, some other of my artwork that I'm really proud of. Because like these birds, I'm really, really proud of them. I really love them. They look incredible. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, taking interest in my, uh, my journey. So this is one month. One month in Procreate. And I'm now at the start of my second month. And I really, really want to see, like, in a year or two to come back to this video, to come back to this artwork and just see how much I grew, how much I learned and how my art looks in the future. So, future Anna, <laughs> hello. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying all the way through. And please, please, please like, subscribe and comment below. Uh... I'm reading every single comment, you know I do, I love you guys, thank you for your incredible support on every single one of my videos and I'm gonna continue and try to make every single one even better than the last one. I'll see you in my next one, bye bye!